Hello guys, how are you all? In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, scenario-based testing, uh, which was introduced uh, as part of Pega 8.x versions. Uh, uh, it was, uh, I mean, previously in Pega 7.x versions, uh, we used to have uh, Pega unit testing. Uh, apart from that, uh, 8.x onwards, uh, uh, Pega has introduced uh, scenario-based testing. It has uh, given uh, a tool to capture uh, uh, scenario-based test cases. Uh, so we all know like how important uh, automated uh, unit testing is, like how important it is to have a test suite, automated uh, test suite. It is uh, very useful in, uh, you know, whenever uh, it involves a uh, uh, repeated testing of scenarios or in the case of regression testing we all know like uh, you know it's it saves us a lot of time um, so keeping that in mind um, let's understand like how to what is scenario based testing in pega and also how to uh, capture the uh, capture scenario based test cases so i'll i'll quickly create a test case and also execute it uh, so just to start with, just to give you some introduction of it, like uh, you can go to PDN um, and also and access uh, uh, the article related to scenario tests. So you can see here, uh, you can go to home DevOps testing Pega applications, running scenario tests against a user interface. So currently this is in 8.6, uh, this version, you can also access at 5.5 or 8.4. So basically I'll just, quickly go through this so it is um, it basically runs against a user interface um, to verify the end-to-end -end scenarios are functioning correctly the ui based scenario testing tool allows you to focus on creating functional and useful tests rather than writing complex code so you can test um, either a specific test case type or entire portal basically there are two types of uh, uh, no, the way uh, we capture test cases one is against the portal and other is a case type which i am going to show uh, in detail um, by clicking scenario in the runtime toolbar uh, this is all okay when you use the test recorder um, and hover over a testable element an orange highlight uh, orange highlight indicates the element can be tested so i'll show you exactly what is high orange highlight and all um, interactions are recorded in a visual series of steps uh, uh, the execution of a test test step can include a delay so uh, here we can see like as we capture we can see the series of steps uh, which which you are going to see um, in, in a moment and um, we can also it uh, it also allow us to basically uh, provide input data using a data page um, we can give uh, input data dynamically uh, peg allows us that configuration so which again i'll quickly just i may not be like showing it in detail but I'll just show you exactly how, where and how, how it can be done. Um, so this is all like, yeah, you can go through this article and understand uh, about the scenario based test cases. And one thing uh, which I, uh, the version that I'm using is Pega 8.4 uh, for this uh, cap, uh, I mean, now to capture the test cases, but uh, in Pega 8.5 and newer versions, looks like this is made as a separate component, it seems. Uh, but um, I don't think uh, there will be a lot of changes in uh, the way how we capture test cases. So let's quickly jump into uh, a quick uh, demo. No. Yeah, let's go to a portal. So this is basically a portal, a very generic portal. Uh, uh, with uh, with a with a basic uh, case uh, case type implemented uh, just for testing purposes i mean just for poc purposes i have created this um, so open uh, your portal case manager portal and uh, uh, you know um, so as soon as you open it like down you see the toolbars right so toolbar um, and here uh, you can see toggle automation recorder uh, the last but one uh, icon um, so yeah let me click on that yeah you see here um, it enabled a toolbar uh, auto scenario test toolbar uh, where we can see already existing test cases and also a button uh, to create a test case um, so let's click on it uh, so i'm going to show exactly how to capture a test case create a test case so this is what uh, it was mentioned in the article uh, portal and case type two different types of uh, uh, capturing test cases uh, so for now i'm going to focus on portal 
case type uh, is again within the case so but normally in our uh, most of the scenarios uh, we start our testing from portal so that's why i'm going to like first start with portal maybe case type i'll, I'll do um, another video for it so let's click on portal so now the recording is started so this is the orange one um, if it is if you can see this on hover over of any element that means you can uh, add, uh, you can add it as a step in your test case um, if you don't see anything like for example here uh, here you can see it but you cannot see this case status uh, uh, highlighted with an orange uh, you cannot uh, have it as an a step uh, or uh, have it as a you know verified step you will you will understand what is verify step but you cannot add it as a uh, an element in a step in the test case so that is what uh, they explained so and let's now click on dashboard uh, click dashboard and yeah this is my scenario basically the series of steps i'm i want to click on uh, uh, first case uh, available in the table so let it load yeah bear with slowness guys uh, this is a bit slow uh, because it's a, it is just a personal edition and also uh, it needs some cleanup of the data yeah so then i am just uh, forming a scenario here randomly uh, so i'm clicking on change stage okay and entering some data test and next step click submit and again enter some notes testing approve so as you see here the series of steps are added um, so first we clicked on actions menu and then um, uh, change click selected change stage menu option and we, we entered audit note at um, know uh, the text test as a uh, text and uh, submitted uh, submitted uh, that uh, flow action and then uh, click approve button uh, in the next screen click the approve button in the next screen and now uh, i want to if you see uh, at the end of the scenario what um, uh, i want to validate is whether the case is resolved or not so uh, because on performing approve it gets resolved so i see i should see result completed state this is my test case so now i have captured a scenario basically to do all these steps and finally to verify the state is uh, sorry the test case is resolved uh, or not the case is resolved or not so i'm done with my test case so let's save this sorry i have to talk fast uh, because because of uh, you know uh, to cut uh, length of the video to short so testing test demo i'm just saving it with some name and yeah and you can always select context and also the uh, applies to class this can be anything i don't know like uh, it doesn't matter so far i, I did not face any issues uh, uh, we can select any class we can have even a dedicated class for saving all these uh, test cases mm, so for now you can select any class and also uh, you need to have a rule set a dedicated rule set uh, where um, the category of it uh, you can have you should have uh, the uh, checkbox checked uh, to save the test cases into this rule set so uh, which i will show you uh, go here yeah these are rule set right you need to have this use this rule set to store test cases okay go back now, then only you see it here click save yeah so now it is saved let me run it or uh, let me okay make it dynamic some of the steps so basically re 6009 we have resolved it right so we want to make this dynamic uh, because uh, re uh, 6009 it may not be existing in the list once it is resolved so to make it dynamic you 
uh, how uh, I mean you you use this notation uh, save step um, and also some of the places like uh, uh, where we can use data page and all uh, say for example here property for uh, note for entering notes like you can instead of uh, hard coded uh, text here you can uh, mention a data page um, uh, where uh, you can have the data page loaded with your uh, input data so that's all different configuration which i may be showing it in the future in a different video for now i'll, I'll make the uh, whole thing simple so i just now captured all the test cases uh, sorry steps uh, for my scenario and saving it yeah bear with the slowness so once it is saved, uh, uh, I'll execute, uh, and then we can see like how uh, a, a capture test case is working. Yeah, it is taking longer time. Maybe I have to clean up uh, some data uh, from this uh, personal edition. So, okay, it is done. Uh, go back. Okay, select this and now let's run it. So, once I click on run, um, I'm not going to do anything. It will just, you know, go through, it will run uh, uh, step by step, whatever we captured as part of test case, it runs the steps automatically. Okay, started. It clicked on dashboard. Okay, click down first uh, row in the list basically wh whichever is the case because we made it dynamic uh, it will just select whatever the case that is available as a first row in the list and then it uh, clicked actions button then then it will enter uh, the text uh, test in that audit note i observed uh, in personal edition this step is not working properly but ideally in if if it is your regular uh, pega version pega um, then uh, it will actually enter the text properly and uh, also it will uh, make that step green uh, but in personal edition even then it is not entering uh, because of some issue it is not able to enter and also it is not um you know uh, just considering that step it is not making that step green um but still uh, overall the test case is working somehow uh, in personal edition but as i said like in your regular version of pega like it will work properly it will enter uh, the text whatever we mention um and uh, also it runs that step properly uh, so overall as you see like um yeah all the steps are executed and also it is verified that the status work is resolved completed in the end and it made a test cases passed um, one thing uh, so in the end like if it doesn't find or if it uh, finds some other uh, uh, status here then it will fail the test case that's what the whole uh, purpose of the test case right we at uh, end of the scenario we want to make sure some of the data points on the case are properly um, updated as as per our scenario so here uh, the scenario is about resolving a case from the actions menu chain stage um, so it has basically uh, verified the prop final status is resolved completed so there are some limitations to it um, yeah which uh, you know you can go through and understand from article but high level uh, the limitations are like wherever first limitation is wherever we see uh, we don't see orange um, uh, you know orange highlight uh, as and when we hover over a, a ui element uh, then it doesn't support for uh, uh, for capturing a test case uh, for adding it as a step in the test case that is first limitation and second limitation is uh, it doesn't work on um, new uh, windows uh, new windows basically a, a pop-up window uh, so if you 
uh, open a separate window uh, then uh, this whole thing will not work basically this works on a primary portal uh, window and uh, also case type so uh, maybe in future they they uh, pega might be introducing a, you know, a fix for that but uh, so far uh, this is it guys uh, thanks for watching this video thank you